Hello, and welcome to the after party, or actually more like the disaster party. Uh, last night on the Facebook live feed, we had a ton of technical problems. There was uh, an upload problem. Turns out we, well, it didn't turn out. We did have a storm last night, and uh, and I think it, it had problems or it caused problems with the with the uh, the upload speed and the internet. So anyway, I didn't get done what I wanted to get done on this painting. So what I thought I'd do today for you is give you a time lapse of what I was supposed to do yesterday. That way you guys can see it and get caught up and um, yeah, it should be good. So I'll narrate through it a little bit and tell you what I'm doing and it will catch you up to speed on this painting of my beautiful daughter, Emily. All right, so here we go. All right, so we're starting with the uh, tan color. This is a marble color that I made up using some yellow ochre, some black, and then a little bit of red. So the red kind of balances off the green cast that yellow ochre has. And what I was doing with this color was it's kind of like the base tone color. So it's the color that I can kind of build the shapes out of. But what it does really is the leftover parts of it where you can see it through are going to be like kind of the light shining through the marble. The translucent marble will cast this kind of yellowish glow underneath. So that's really what this is for. But I also use it to kind of block in a lot of the uh, other areas. Now, one quick note, um, again, in continuing with the uh, what could go wrong technical tragedies, I recorded a time lapse up to this point right before this but uh, again something happened and it did not save so that's why it's a lot farther than it was in the uh, feed but I'm working on the hair here and it's the same principle as what I did everywhere else so uh, it'll give you a good idea all right so actually I take this back it isn't the brown that I'm using here this is straight opaque black not straight it is reduced quite a bit so this is reduced one part paint to 20 parts reducer and I do that to give myself a lot of control now one of the things that happens throughout this whole painting is patience so all the paints that I'm using for this are extremely reduced so if you notice to get one area to kind of darken up I go over it a number of times for me it really gives the brush a chance to give me that control where if the paint is really thick and I just go for a single blast coverage there's a good chance that something's gonna go wrong uh, the paints gonna come come out too fast and too dense and really it's not gonna give me the detail that I want so uh, so that's kind of what I what I did with this uh, with this black color it's really really reduced uh, what's nice about this too, the base color of her skin is a metallic pearl color. So as you just saw with the, the eraser, I can actually go back in and erase out really easily and I'll pull that pearl back out. Jury's still out whether using the pearl base was a good idea. I wanted this to really look like marble when it was done. The one problem with using pearl in an instance like this or any instance really once you start airbrushing on top of it the paint is matte where the pearl is reflective so when you turn this at an angle and the light shines off of the pearl anywhere where there's paint is going to be dark like almost like black not really black but really dark and that's because the paint doesn't reflect the same way the pearl does so if you put a highlight on for instance and it's white if you tilt the painting at an angle that highlight will now not be white anymore it'll be dark so um, so that's that's kind of a you know a, an issue with painting on pearl colors artwork on pearl colors but uh but yeah it it's a good experiment okay so still with the black and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of carving in now all those deeper shadows uh, this is definitely a a chance for me to figure it out so I don't really have I have an idea of what I need to do but seeing it in, in a practical sense involves putting the paint down. Now, I could have done a test panel to really work all this out beforehand, but what's the fun in that? So we just start working on the painting. Uh, the good news is, you know, there's a lot of bouncing back and forth. So it gives me a chance to try out a few things and not have it be catastrophic if it goes wrong. I can always kind of rework it. With these paintings, I also bounce around a lot, too. You'll see it just kind of... Um, Kind of get bored in one area and then move on this is essentially not a monochromatic painting by any stretch because there's a lot going on with it but it's all the same thing there's no other 
really big color shift so I can bounce around the whole thing and uh, and it works so this is if I remember right yep this is just uh, white so it's a white with a little bit of blue in it and what I'm doing is I'm just pulling out the light parts of the uh, of the carving one of the mistakes I made or one of the things I wanted to change on the last version of this the one that got ruined with the clear coat was I felt that I did the hair too realistic meaning that it looked like it looked like hair where a sculpture if you look at a sculpture especially a classic sculpture like uh, David for instance the hair is is really in 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 chunks essentially like like tubes uh, that, that are kind of carved out and then there are slight details put on top of that so it's a very the hair is very chunky and of course that's done because it's a sculpture but i didn't capture that well in the last one so i wanted to really make sure i got that so really what it is is big forms big movements in the hair and then slight details that are kind of carved into it all right so that is kind of the process that i was using to kind of develop this and it'll keep developing from here as i move across the painting but i will definitely keep you guys up on what's going on look on the channel both youtube and or facebook for a continuation of this painting and certainly once i get this down i'll be doing other portraits as well so if you enjoyed this please consider liking and subscribing and if you want to join the patreon or membership here like these lovely people please consider doing that too. Anything you do helps. It keeps everything rolling here, and I truly appreciate it. So for Steve Leahy, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks a lot.